Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome back for another sawmill video. I got uh, a couple more special guests this time. We have Chad and Colton here today, and they brought some uh, some giant logs. So, why don't you guys introduce yourselves and tell us a bit about yourself? You guys can decide who gets to go first. Chad, <laughs> I'm Chad with Midwest Wood Turners. Um, <laughs> this is Colton with Down to Earth Tree Service. We partnered up on this massive removal of some dying walnut residential trees in River Falls, Wisconsin. We have two trees with four massive logs. So it all came from two trees there. Yep. All this weird stuff was on two trees. Yep. That, that one tree with the burl had like four burls, two in the canopy, this putrid thing. <laughs> and yeah, the butt logs were anywhere from 42 to 48 inches in diameter. We couldn't fit our hands around this one. So do you guys have a, a saw yourself that you usually use, or this is too big for, what's this, why is it here? We inspired to be like you, Matt, oh, and have your mill. <laughs> we just have not so executed So like, this is like a plan. recon mission for you? Yes. Recon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I thought today we would cut up the, uh, the butt log, which is, I buried down here, of course, because it's kind of the simplest, because you guys got to go like halfway through the day today. And if you want to come back in the next video or something, we'll do one of the bigger ones. But this should be a fairly simple, quick, and easy, I'm going to say easy-ish, log to get started with. So let's get it over to the saw, I guess, and do something with it, I guess. See if there's any treasures inside. Guys, tradition dictates that the guests throw the first bucket of water. So that one's oh, that's a mat size one for you. Perfect. <laughs> that's where we go with this. In towards each other. All right. <laughs> the, the colliding water effect. I don't know. There's nothing in here. You just might as well just throw it back in the pile and get out of here. I guess. Yeah. Let it spalt. <laughs> <laughs>
That was not enough water. But it's wood. You got like a little mini burl thing going on there and a limb. Otherwise, it's just clear walnut. That was weak. Yeah. yeah. That's cool though. So this is actually something interesting in this. It's just here. It's just in the very center. Bonus splash. Oh yeah, this has got some stuff going on in it. We got some like top crotch from this little limb here. And we got this really cool pruning cut where the tree has completely healed up that wound. And then there's a couple of knots and then we're just kind of into this big old clear walnut. Let's get some uh, quick measurements just to get an idea here. We got uh, almost 33 down here at the very tippy top. This is cool though. We got this fun little bulge thing here comes out to 38 and then all the way down here we're at 41 so that's I guess that's a whole tabletop slab okay oh and by the way Chad and Colton had to go so it's just me now left to my own devices that wasn't very good this one's got this really cool bark inclusion coming up through here. And I think this the center, this is the pith. So we got the pith line going straight up. We got quarter sawn all the way across and we got some fun bark, uh, the bark inclusion. And with the pith line, pe some people really like this. They have all the little original limbs 
from the tree as it was growing up before all these limbs came off and didn't actually develop into full blown branches. And you can see this nice little pocket up here where something happened, almost like it split into two and then it didn't and it healed back up and kept going up again. That's pretty cool. Trees are amazing. Okay, let's see what's going on here. I missed the spot. I missed the most exciting part. All this situation down here with this bark inclusion has created a whole heck of a crazy ripply thing going on here. All this crazy curl and figure along the, uh, the outside of the log. The rest is just walnut. Everything else down here. I guess there's this cool knot thing in the middle here with some fun figure stuff around it and a slightly smaller one over there. But otherwise, pretty well clear, fairly wide. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay. Oh, this is cool now. We're all the way through that knot there. We just have a little bit of the, uh, the figure left and just like where the knot would have been. And this, uh, we got this crack all the way down. And then we got this, this situation room over here is what I'm gonna call it. Cause it's a situation of craziness. Nice, actually. Yeah, maybe you caught you off guard on that one. Ah. <laughs> Very clear, with the exception of that uh, bark inclusion crack structural defect thing there. And then otherwise, there's nothing. It's just clear walnut the rest of the way. All right, this one again, kind of plain and clear up here, but maybe something fun down here in this kind of zone. Yeah, we're back to this, whatever this crazy thing is with this bark inclusion, crazy curl situation here. And it looks like there's some kind of weird curl or something like striation through here in the middle. If we can see that, something weird's going on there. So this was really fun. It's nice that it cuts stuff and it's like a little more, I don't know, normal and mundane and less difficult. It's a very simple log, very clean grain and nothing too particularly crazy going on. But the other four logs that Chad and Colton brought should yield some more uh, unique things, which I'm looking forward to. They'll be back with us uh, tomorrow and we'll be cutting up, I think, the, uh, the larger trunk crotch log thing. And we'll see what... Uh, treasures are inside of there so that's gonna do it for this one thank you as always for watching i greatly appreciate it. if you have any questions or comments on the sawmill 
anything back in the shop or whatever, please feel free to leave me a comment. As always, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. And until next time, happy woodworking.